for me hey what is up guys it's Brennan here and I am finally back I figured I would do a little Q&A live stream reviewing stores doing really whatever you guys want to just kind of chilling hanging out figured I would do a little live stream since it has been a while um, figured I'd hop in here answer some questions maybe some of you guys have about e-commerce dropshipping um, you know any anything along those lines internet marketing kind of stuff hey what's up FN clips how's it going what's up what's up um, so yeah guys if you have any kind of questions I figured I'd hop in do a little live stream since it has been a while oh what's up Liz um, it's pronounced Liz Liz because it's LIS I've talked to you many different times um, oh, what's up RK what's up what's up <laughs> Liz okay so I've got it right because I've said I've said it to Brian and I'm just like not sure or I've said it to Zach or whatnot and I'm just like making sure I pronounce people's names correctly I try to do that my best at least um yo let me know where you guys are from <laughs> someone says Lisa <laughs> uh that's that's hilarious honestly um yo let me know let me know where you guys are from uh whoever's in here I think we just got a couple of you guys in here right now um Review my store frogaddict.com. I I have seen I've seen your store in the Facebook group. I imagine a good amount of you guys are from the uh, Facebook group. If you guys have joined in here, add it to your group too. Cool, cool. Um, frog. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and load that up now. I did take a look at your store though. Um, when you did post it in the Facebook group, I did take a look. You do have a lot of like, um products that do sell which is a good step that's for sure uh, it shows it's lagging oh now we're good yeah my my stream sometimes lags a bit when I load stores up I think it has to do with my internet uh, my internet in my current apartment isn't the greatest so uh, but I am moving into a new house next month uh, which is gonna be super cool Zach and I are gonna have our own little studio if you guys follow him as well um, we're gonna have a whole new studio. I'm definitely gonna be doing a video on it for those of you guys who you know Maybe are interested in doing YouTube type stuff or video content for your e-commerce stores uh, We're gonna be doing a whole lot of content relating to that stuff like how to you know make a studio Oh, you missed what I said because of the, After you had seen it because of the lag um, Yeah, I had seen the store um, there's a lot of good selling products in here, which is definitely solid, uh, which definitely helps. The only thing is to me, it's a little unfocused. It is more of a general store, which I typically recommend people go for more specific niche or niche or however you want to say it because uh, it's pronounced both ways. Um, I typically recommend just going for one specific like target audience and target market that you're trying to hit. Uh, that's personally what I typically will recommend to people. Um, however, you know, you could do you could do a mix of maybe a little bit of different stuff. But like, I don't know, when you go too general, sometimes it's difficult to really focus on a target market. And people get kind of uh, spread out too thin across a bunch of different types of products. And they think, oh, this is this way, or oh, that's that way. Like, if you're going to do this wine opener, maybe just stick to a bunch of wine products. Or maybe if you're going to do the oil diffusers, make a whole store focused around uh, oil diffusers, essential oils. I mean, that's a great niche. I mean, my girlfriend buys, like, a ton of essential oils. Like, I know that it works. Like, it's a, it's a great niche to get into if you like oil diffusers. But, it, you know, pick something you're kind of passionate about. That will definitely help. Uh, Dog Parents Online, what's up, what's up? Um, I think you you are I've seen your store before uh, dog parents is it god I can't remember it's a uh, Ray Ray Q I think is your name like Ray Q something <laughs> uh, I definitely recognize a lot of you guys from the Facebook group which is pretty cool um, my idea was to find a winner and then build a store focused around that niche yeah that makes sense I mean it's definitely good to find like a winning product that you can kind of push a lot of traffic to your store from. That's what I have always kind of recommended and gone with as well for people is you find one main product that you know is going to sell in your e-commerce store 
and then you build stuff around that. But I mean, most of the stuff you have here, I mean, I, I know the oil diffusers work, the wine opener works, the dog seatbelt, I'm not 100% sold on that one. The desktop punching bag, I think was kind of just like a quick trend. I wouldn't really build a whole store around that desktop punching bag, unless you're going for a boxing store, but I mean, I don't know. Pick, uh, like find a winner and then pick the winner out of those that you like the most because you're going to be making a whole store around it like once you pick your winner and find that within your within a certain niche and you you know just make sure it's a niche when you do pick it that it's something you actually like because you're going to be talking about it a lot you're going to have like tons of tons of product like you need to know enough about the niche like you need to do your research maybe you don't know a lot about oil diffusers but and that ends up being your winner you know and I know that it is a winner, like it can work, uh, make sure it's just something you're going to like looking into because otherwise you're going to shoot yourself in the foot. Like I did the beauty store like a year ago now and I had, you know, I had some stuff going well with it, but I honestly didn't really like the beauty niche that much. And it kind of shot me in the foot because I didn't really have the energy to want to, you know, push forward with it as times got tough with it. So make sure you just pick something that you like out of all the ones that you've kind of you know sifted through already uh i hope that i hope that helps like the one that the store i'm going to be making is a survival store um and so i've you know i've kind of talked about that in some of my videos some of some i think i might have talked about it in the facebook group maybe but the store i'm in the process of kind of formulating is a survival type store and yeah, maybe if you follow Zach's content too, both of us have kind of talked about the fact that we're going to be doing it a lot differently than a traditional drop shipping store. We're actually going to be ordering a lot of the products ourselves, fulfilling them, and just giving really, really, really good uh, shipping times and customer service and all that. But it is still sourcing products from AliExpress. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of the methodology that we're going to be rolling with. Um, hey, what's up, Julian Simpson? I see you have a couple questions here, which I'm excited to get to answering in a second. Uh, what do you think about the fishing niche? Um, FN Clips or Liz? Uh, my idea was, fun. yeah, okay. Uh, dog parents on, what's up? Okay. Um, no sound? There's no sound? Uh, I think there's sound. Yeah, you guys can hear me, right? Because I have it, the mic is in, and it's showing that there's, there's audio. Um... Put, like, let me know if you guys can hear me before I go into answering other questions. Oh, I can hear you fine. Okay, so there is sound. All right. Then I think Alibaba 40 pickpockets. Uh, just make sure you turn the audio up. Then I think everyone else can hear me. But only in one channel. Oh, it does this all the time. One channel in the headset. This is so annoying. It. You know what? <sighs> Hold on a second. It. Cr this crap does this all the time with this mic. Um... Because it's mono versus stereo. So let me check the properties. Um, okay, let me switch it to this. Okay, does this sound better? Is this better now? Can you hear it both ears? Because I switched the mic. I think it should sound better probably. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. Yeah, I switched the mic. For so All right, so this, this mic right here... This is like a really freaking expensive mic, this Shure SM7B, right? I love this thing, but I have to edit the audio for it to work properly and not be like mono. So I need to buy some other like equipment or something to make it sound uh, different uh, or sound better, but whatever. Right now I'm just using my laptop mic, so much louder too. All right, cool. Cool. Well, good. It's much better now. <laughs> Maybe a little too loud. Let me turn it down maybe a little tad. That might be a little bit... Maybe, maybe... Let me just keep it up, actually. Just because, uh, you know, you guys can just adjust the volume how you want. All right, so back to the topic at hand here, guys. Let's go back to the other questions so I don't miss any. Um, Julian Simpson, hey, dude, I've seen your other videos. And can I apply those product pages to my Shopify site or just for WordPress? So I, I don't know if I made this clear enough in the video, which I kind of, like realize now but when when you're making the product pages right the stuff with thrive themes the stuff i was talking about in that video um it is applied for a wordpress site and then you're using the pages that you make on the wordpress site to link like you link the button as an add to cart 
direct like a hyperlink to Shopify checkout. So it's like you're linking the two together. So they work as different entities. Um, the thing that's nice about WordPress is it's just so customizable and the blog stuff is better than Shopify's. I mean, Shopify, you can write blog posts and stuff, but in terms of just the product pages that you're asking about and what most people probably are interested in, uh, you do have to make it separate on a WordPress site. Like the Thrive Themes plugin and app, the, the landing page creator I showed you guys how to use is only is only for WordPress. Like it's a WordPress based plugin. So it does work in combination with Shopify by using those cart links, but it operates on a separate like site. So just, just so you know that, and it, but the thing is, it's not that expensive comparatively to like something like click funnels. It's a lot cheaper if you want to, you know, be able to use funnels and be able to use custom pages in your whole like e-commerce experience. I hope that answers your question. It's, it's kind of a, it's a, I, I mean, it's a, it's kind of a lot to, to go over, but hopefully the video maybe explain that or what you can do with it. But yeah, it is, it is a WordPress based plugin and app. So, um, cool. Um, what's up socialismus? You're back. It's been a long time, man. You've been on the channel for a while. I appreciate you guys. Um, fishing niche. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. So Liz about the fishing niche, it's actually an awesome niche. Like it's really good because there's a lot of people interested in fishing and there's products that you can do for it. You could even make info products if you're that ambitious and com combine it with your, you know, AliExpress, Shopify or drop shipping or, you know, the physical products, you can combine those two, which is pretty epic. Um, so the fishing niche is pretty solid. Uh, it, I, I mean, there's a ton. I mean, if you guys are in my free three day training, um, that you guys, and if you want access to the free three day training, I think I did talk about fishing niche a little bit in there. Uh, you guys can get access to that in the description through the hundred K product list. So if you sign up for the hundred K product list, which is hundred percent free, um, then you also get the three day free training in your emails over the next few days. So that's kind of all tied together there. So you guys want to like make sure that you get my content because YouTube is actually ass at delivering content to subscribers. Like subscriber counts don't even matter anymore. If you guys are like following Alex Becker and stuff like that, you'd probably kind of know that and realize that. So that's why I've like taken matters into my own hands and like, okay, I need to grow an email list to be able to, you know, communicate with you guys because I can't rely just on YouTube. And it's the same thing with Shopify stores too. Like you guys definitely make sure you have your email collection and all that stuff because Otherwise, you can't keep in contact with your people. Like, how are you supposed to... It's just you can't rely on other platforms like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Like, you just can't rely on those other entities to deliver your content or your 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 stuff to your people. So, if you guys want to make sure that you get everything, uh, you can, you can um, sign up with the 100K product list. Yeah, Julian... Um, uh, every guru's collecting emails now. Yeah, because everybody, the quote unquote gurus, I try to stay out of that crowd because like, yeah, I know a lot about e-commerce and stuff, but you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm just like you guys, like I'm not going to be an ass about trying to pretend like I'm on this pedestal of anything. Like, you know, I, like I'm learning things every single day, just like you guys are. Like I, 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 I vibe with you, feel with, you know, feel with you guys. It's, a lot of the people that are kind of collecting emails now, like the way that you're kind of saying that and framing it is like, they're trying to get people to sign up for webinars and that's not anything that I'm doing. Like you guys can trust me. You're not, you're not getting signed up for some auto webinar bullshit that so many people promote on their Instagram ads and all that shit because they're, they all watch Alex Becker, right? They all watch him and do, Oh, I want to do this whole webinar oh, 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 thing. And it's like, I don't actually really follow and subscribe to that type of methodology. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm following more of the, you know, just helpful stuff. If you guys want to upgrade to my course or whatever stuff I have to offer you guys, then sure. But I'm not going to shove it all the way down your throat. Like you must have this stuff, like all the other people are doing like, and they're charging like thousands of dollars, like, like every other person's like main course is either 500 or thousands of dollars, like most of them at least. 
there's very few people that don't charge thousands or 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 you know 500 to a thousand there's very few people so um all right going back to the other questions uh so yeah the fishing niche is pretty solid maximum catch that's a cool brand name uh uh liz um oh you found something called zipify yeah that's because they're running a ton of ads and i honestly don't like that the zipify shopify app they're kind of like really pushing like oh my god zipify is the best thing i'm pretty sure it's owned by ezra firestone which also does the boom by cindy joseph stuff um so whenever whenever you know it's not bad that they're running ads but they're kind of pushing maybe not the best product um turn me in a new direction with product pages thank you for that yeah you're welcome julian um it definitely like uh product pages definitely help i mean people have been doing this since the dawn of time like i mean like i showed with this thing the box here this is a product page but it's a physical version and you guys definitely want to have like a good description to explain what your product is otherwise people may not really understand what your product's about and all that kind of stuff it just helps pre-sell people um and, and even going back to the whole like gurus collecting emails just that people are getting a lot smarter within the youtube game people are realizing that youtube doesn't deliver the content uh, all those other creators like you, you know why all those other like comedy creators or, or or movie creators do sponsored videos it's because they're not making that much money and youtube is only like you can't rely on YouTube ad money. You, you know, you gotta like give value to your people beyond just doing sponsored crap on your videos or throwing a bunch of ads in your videos. This is not gonna make any make you any money. And as YouTube's changing and all these kind of things are changing, like people are realizing that. And the you know within the entrepreneurship space, at least people are smart enough, most of them, to realize like, oh crap, okay, I need to actually like help my people out, not just shove ads all the time and. And only, you know, I have ads on my videos right now, but I'm probably going to take them off like in the next few months um, because I don't want to I don't really want to distract you guys with a lot of other people's, you know, stuff. I want to actually try and help you guys. Um, and I'm also going to be revamping the entire course. Zach and I have talked a lot about this in depth about all this kind of stuff. But yeah, Um Socialismus, how long is this live stream? I'll probably go for like an hour or so. Um, just figured, like, I feel like, I just felt like coming in here answering some questions for you guys. I'm, I'm kind of getting hungry now, though, but I have some water this time. Could I ask, Brennan, what is the average profit your store makes? Um, currently, I am in the process of developing a new store. So, like, I sold my old beauty store. And that one did like about a thousand, three thousand a month off Instagram traffic. Like it was literally free traffic. So, I mean, yeah, I've made like, you know, I've made a good bit of profit from stores and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm learning just like you guys are and helping you guys along the way with all the stuff that I'm doing and building out, you know, new store new content, all that kind of stuff. I'll definitely keep you guys updated with the survival store, like as it goes, because that one I'm super excited for, and it's going to be super duper fun. And it's also going to be super profitable. Like, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's just to answer that question right there. It's like, I ran the beauty store, but I'm not currently running like something this exact, like I'm in the development phase. Um, you know, Uh, Vortex Gaming just got here. What did you learn? What did you learn to? What did you learn to do? I'm computer. Wait, just got here. What did you do to learn how to do everything revolving dropshipping? Okay, so Vortex Gaming. Um, yeah, go. Through, I would say to go through my videos, but how I learned everything around dropshipping. Well, like back when I started in 2016, like you know, it's gonna be two years ago now edging up on the November, December line of this year, you know, that whole skill set revolving around e-commerce, because I don't just limit it to drop shipping. It's also around e-commerce in general, selling physical products online. Um, it was a lot of trial and error. That's for sure. 
it's a lot of trial and error, figuring out what works, making sure not to make the same mistakes. Um, and back then there wasn't as many, as much content out there. So, you know, I'm trying to help you guys with this, with this content and stuff like that on how to do all this kind of stuff. But what you do to, yeah, I mean, it, it's honestly just running, doing it, like doing it is what helps to learn about dropshipping or e-commerce and doing it and, and maybe watching some other people's content out there, there there just wasn't as much content as there is now which is nice so yeah like what uh like what ray or dog parents said definitely just go through my videos it's gonna help out a lot um and re really if you want like the overall like ba like basics of drop shipping the three-day free training i have if you sign up with in the the 100k product list if you sign up for that which is linked the first link in the description the only link in the description um if you sign up for that you get the whole like three day free training on the basics of drop shipping, e commerce, and everything overall, which will definitely help you out get like a good understanding of it. Because if you try and go through some of my videos, it definitely helps, but it, it is kind of scattered. I understand that. So if you want like a step by step, that link is in the description, along with the product list, which is also very cool to understand like why certain products do well and others don't, <laughs> um, which is something a lot of people mess up on, that's for sure. Um, do you think the conversion campaign is the best way to start from nowhere? Yeah, conversion campaign all the day, all the way. That's what I go for. I always go for conversion campaign. That's definitely the way to go. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have any other kind of questions coming in here, uh, add to cart is good. Uh, I have done purchase. Purchase works good. I'm sure add to cart works as well too. I mean, testing wise, I've really only worked with purchase though, or or lead uh, generation. That that's different. That's like if you're, I mean, I haven't done lead generation ads yet, but that's another thing you could do. I mean, I mean, really all of them, but I would say conversion campaigns all the way. Um, unless you're trying to run like traffic ads to a blog post or something like that, that can also work. Um, how many five dollar ad sets do you start with when testing a new product? Um, if you saw my hundred dollar a day face ow, <laughs> Facebook uh, thing, and, and really the how the, the five dollar ad set stuff, that's also in the th in the three day free training, which is in the description. But you know, not to uh, oh gosh, a lot of questions are coming in. Uh, so I, I would say how many? I mean, you could start with one. Like you could start with one five dollar a day ad set. But realistically, you probably want to test maybe. Five to ten. Ten's a lot, though. I, I, I'd i say about five. Five is, like, a good basis to start with. But the thing is, is, like, you need to make sure that you have a good funnel set up and a good product set up. And, like, literally, before you start paying for Facebook ads, make sure that your shit works and it's actually, like, a good setup. Because so many people, th th like, I see this all the time. People throw up these ads, right, expecting them to convert. And, and it's, like... It's like people are like, oh, I just don't have my ads right. Oh, I'm not testing enough audiences. It's like, no, your product isn't good. Like, make sure your product is good and make sure that your system is good, like your email follow up or, you know, your abandoned cart setup or whatever you're doing. Make sure everything on the on the front end of your like marketing and your product pages and everything is solid before going and paying for traffic. You can test your your funnel and your system and your product pages and all that with your you can test it all with facebook ads but make just make sure it's good like look at what other people are doing model success before paying for traffic because that's how a lot of people burn a lot of money is by paying for traffic on a crappy like crappy ad like yeah i would say five is a good like five 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 dollar ad sets probably is a good range though um it'll get you enough different pockets of people uh, and did I to uh, and I did target only one interest to phishing page and narrow to engage shoppers is about two hundred thousand people. Yeah, that's a good range. Uh, uh, FN Clips or Liz, that's a good range to, to target. Uh, do you target India first to gain social proof? I never, ever, ever, ever do anything around social proof, Julian. People just don't care. It's a waste of money. A lot of these other gurus online are gonna be like, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I like to pay for fake followers on Instagram. Oh, I like to pay for likes on Facebook. Nobody gives a shit about your follower count and your like count on Facebook when you're running ads. People don't even see it. People don't give a shit. And all these other people are trying to tell you that that's what you need to do, and it's a waste of money. They think in their head that it, it, it helps. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, I get, I get like, like, passionate about this crap because people are going out there to tell you to waste your money on that shit that doesn't even matter. Like, it's so stupid. It's so stupid to pay for fake followers or to pay for social proof likes. Nobody even sees those damn things. Nobody even sees them. All they see is name of your page and sponsored. That's it. What co what compels them to even look at your ad is if your video ad is compelling and it's catchy, funny, or something interesting, or it's a picture ad and it's funny, compelling, or something interesting. If it's interesting, oh, look, wow, what the heck is that? Like, that's what I click on ads for. Oh, what is this? Like, if it's something that's just boring, like, people aren't going to look at it. And, and the social proof thing is just kind of BS that a lot of other people tell you you need to do. Um, social proof, real social proof helps. That's the reason why Ty Lopez goes out there saying, oh, I've got millions of followers. And it's true, though. There's a, those are millions of legitimate followers that, you know, he's kind of gotten, you know, he's paid for some of them through ads. But they're legitimate people. They're not fake. Um, and they're not, like, bullshit. So social proof, like, actual followers can help. Actual engagement helps. Like Gary Vee and all that kind of stuff. When they, You know, these people that, that are big influencers have millions of followers. Definitely helps. Like, so, real social proof helps. But not, like paying for fake or, or just paying for light. It's a waste. Like it's literally a waste. Um, what's the best way to know a winning product? Best way to know a winning product is if it has a high order count on AliExpress. So let me actually do that for you guys right now, because I feel like a lot of you guys would actually benefit from seeing that. Um, so literally, all right, we're on the frog addict, uh, site. A lot of those are pretty solid products, but if we go to AliExpress, right, I figure I'd just show you guys this live because a lot of you guys probably want to know this. How do you know if a, if product is winning? So if we go to phishing, right, let's use phishing as the example. And this is literally what I talk about in my three-day free training as well and the 100K product. Like everything about the 100K product list is how to know if it's a winning product, which is in the description if you guys want to sign up. 100% free. Um, and if you guys want to get my emails and get like notified of things because YouTube's terrible at that, um, then you probably want to sign up if you actually want to see my content. Otherwise, you're not guaranteed to even see anything I put out. So if you want to get the helpful stuff, sign up below. Uh, anyway, so we search fishing, right? You, the way you know it's a winning product, literally click orders. Winning products, okay? Thousands of orders, right? 10,000 total open orders, 26,000 total open orders, 74, uh, 7,400 total open orders. Like, this, it's not that hard, guys. It's literally not that hard. Like, you click on orders. You search your niche. You And I say pick one niche that you like and have passion for because you're going to want to do this to the moon. I like camping and – so let, let's search camping then, all right? Let's do it from my perspective, okay? I like camping survival. That's what my new store is going to be about, okay? And, and the thing is I'm not just doing, like, a traditional dropshipping store. I am actually, like, really going forward with this, so it's going to be a process – that's for sure, but it's going to be really cool. So you click orders. This is literally what I'm doing. And I'm like, hmm. Okay, so this has a good amount of orders. Now, camping is not exactly the biggest, like, search result. You probably want to – for me, I'd rather just search survival, right? Because that's, like, more the overall niche that I would be selling in. So I put orders. Literally, okay, 3,600. Like, these are obviously products that sell. You know, thousands of open orders. Like a lot of people apparently want a first aid kit, or you know, for their car uh, when they're traveling. A, a lot of people apparently want first aid kits. A lot of people want these this like flint fire starter, right? Yeah, filtering by orders. Yeah, it, it, it's literally it's not even that revolutionary. Like it's it's pretty freaking simple. Um, if you guys want more like training and in depth stuff, like I said, you can sign up below. Um, yeah, okay, so that's the best way to know if you have a winning, is to know a winning product. That's how you know of a winning product, at least, right? Survival, maybe even just, let's just search outdoor. Like, there's so many different types of products that I'm going to add to my store. Like, it's crazy. 
like outdoor. Like you can see thousand, three thousand. I mean, fishing is huge. I mean, you saw that like ten thousand orders. That's the thing with fishing though is like there's there's only like so many needed products. Like you got a fishing pole, you got some, you got a bait, and you got some fishing line. Like that's mostly what you need for fishing. Like it's pretty ridiculous. Um. So yeah, three thousand. You know, three thousand. All this shit, right? Lots of orders. Okay, outdoors. This is more like the maybe like prepping a uh, bicycle stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. This is maybe not so much my niche, like outdoor, but more so just like survival and camping type stuff. But you get the point. Okay, you guys get the point, right? Uh, how many link clicks do you need to know that is a winning product? I don't look at impressions or link clicks. I literally don't look at impressions and link clicks because for me, impressions and link clicks do not mean money. Okay. Impressions and link clicks do not mean money in the bank. All right. So I don't even, I mean, yeah, it's a metric to look at, but it's not exactly something that you should define whether it's a winning product. Like impressions and link clicks can, can kind of gauge you, but unless you see orders, that's that's the metric that matters, right? Your actual return on investment, your return on ad spend, your break e or your break even points, like that's what that's what matters. Um, is the actual money. <laughs> it should make sense. A lot of people get caught up in the link clicks and impressions and think, oh my god, so many people saw this, but it does not matter. There could be a lot of interested people. It doesn't mean it's actually gonna sell. Um Yeah, so Going through your, sorry if the video output is low, like the connection is not exactly the best. So sorry if there's a little bit of buffering and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm going to be moving to a new house soon, like in the next month, like at the end of it, at the end of July, I'm moving, like getting kicked out of my apartment. So, uh, you know, you'll, you'll definitely, yeah, I'm going to be getting better internet there. That's for damn sure. Um, okay, so I see a lot of dropshipping stores that sell gaming clothing. Uh, for example, Call of Duty or something. How does that work? Couldn't you get sued for a company's logo? Uh, yeah, you can. And that's why I say don't do that kind of shit. Like, you can have a gaming store without using uh, copyrighted intellectual property. Right? You can sell, like, gaming headsets, gaming mice. Like, you could sell a mouse like this. Uh, this is a Logitech mouse, but you could sell a similar gaming mouse that is not copyright. It's just a, it's just a gaming product. Like, it's not copyright. But, yeah, those people, in the long run, they're going to get uh, sued and stuff like that. They, they, they may make some money, but they're not going to build a, a, a five. They're not going to build a six-figure, seven-figure business by that kind of shit. Like, you're just not, you know. Like, you're going to get sued for that kind of shit um, using, like, Call of Duty or company's logos. It's just not going to work long term. Uh, my new way of finding hot products is typing keywords, filtering by orders. Exactly. Uh, uh, okay, I'm not going to even answer Jado's question. I, I'm not going to ban you, but I'm not going to answer that. Um, I don't really I, – I only ban people if they're, like, spamming, like, links like affiliate links and crap like that. Like I ban people from my Facebook group so often trying to, they're trying to sell shit like, like garbage shit too. It's not even like they're trying to just like scam people. I ban so many from the Facebook group. Like you don't even want to know. <laughs> uh, do you do video ads? How do you make slash get the video? Um, RK, I'm actually going to be doing a video. Once I move to the new studio and Zach and I, like we set up the new house and all that kind of shit. Like, I'm going to be making a brand new, like full, long, in-depth tutorial on how to make video ads, like a really, really good one, like probably like an hour long, like video on YouTube on how to do it correctly, maybe 30 minutes, I don't know, how, however long it takes, but I'm going to be doing a really, really good video on that, on how to actually make them, but that's going to be a little while till then, for now. If you're just trying to, if you're just trying to get something up, right, you're trying to like figure out something, then I would try to find viral Instagram videos or Facebook videos that have your product in it 
Maybe it doesn't even have, you know, I, you want to find ones that have your product in. Like, say, for example, a cat product, right? You might be able to get away with some, like, little cat clips that don't have the product, and then you want to have the main cat clips that have your product in it to help sell it. So you can kind of mash those clips together from other people and then create your own video. Um, on, on Sony Vegas is what I use to edit videos on. You could also use Adobe, Adobe Premiere or even just Windows Movie Maker, or iMovie, I mean, really any video editing software. But that's how you get the video. Um, in terms of what I was talking about with like creating your own video, that's what I'm gonna be doing in the new studio, but that's gonna be like, an, like another month, month and a half till I can like actually make that video. Um, going over that kind of stuff. Plus, I need like some sort of product to, to use for it. Well, I actually have a few that I could use, but... Um, yeah, that's how you do video ads. Um, you know, you set, you just, you film, you either film it yourself or you find other clips of people that have already sold the product and you can kind of use those as like um, basic clips. Okay. Um, yeah, Julian Simpson, what was your conversion rate on your old site? I, I don't really remember the conversion rate. It was, it was maybe like a, like a 5%. It was decent. It was actually a decent conversion rate because it was a lot of people that had already scrolled through Instagram and had already like looked at a lot of stuff. So they were, once they went to my store, they were higher percent chance of actually buying. Like it wasn't just from a standard Facebook ad where the conversion rates are a lot lower. The conversion rates were actually, because it was almost like, it was almost like my, my website was like almost as if it was a retarget because people had already been through the Instagram page. So they were already interested and then once they were interested, they went to the store and started buying stuff. So I think it was like a five or six. I, it was d decent. Um, is that a Coke glass? No, this is actually like a skull cup. Um, I got it. My mom sent it to me. It's like a skull cup. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't have any Coke glasses actually, but no, it's like a skull cup. Uh, how do you avoid the copyright warning from Instagram and Facebook if you use other people's clips? Okay, yeah, a lot of people bash on my video for that. When, like, they don't understand, and, and I can understand your question because you're actually being, like, reasonable about the question. A lot of people, like, bash my video about how to make video ads by saying, oh, you're going to get copyrighted, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, you take the clip and you make it your own. Like, you take the clips you add credit in the corner, like a little at to the original creator and you mash it up and make it like a compilation video. You don't just take the video directly. Like you comp, you make it a compilation. You take other people's clips, you create your own little text sliders on it. You make your own video because the reason how they're able to do the copyright warnings is through the code of the video. If it's the exact same clip, it's going to be very easy for them to detect it. If it is a mashed up compilation, there's not really a way for them to, I mean, maybe, but they're, they're not really going to flag you if you actually edit the video and, and move things around, change the music, change like a lot of stuff, you should be fine. If you watch my video about how to make video ads, then you'll, you'll kind of understand it and figure out where to get the audio from, how to mash it up and stuff. A lot of people will watch my video, watch the first 10 seconds and be like, oh, oh, oh no, this is illegal. I'm like, no, like watch the whole video. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys have any other kind of questions in here? Like I said as well, if you guys want the 100K product list to figure out like more about what products have sold for me in the past or some of my other partners and friends in this whole game have sold, you can get that down below, and the link is brendanvaleski.com forward slash 100k products. You can download the free product list and get access to, you know, all those products as well as the three-day free training sent to your email directly. And then after that, you can also get, like, you know, updates from stuff I do, which is pretty fun. More valuable shit, right? Hells. What's up? Do you have do you have a question, Socialismus? I appreciate you for uh, joining in here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to make it sound like a sales pitch. Like I'm actually trying to help you guys with this stuff. Yeah. 
like overall it's just helpful stuff like i can you know you just i just over time a lot of youtube creators just can't you can't rely on youtube to send your stuff out it's the same problem people are running into now that they used to run into on old blog sites like blogs now have, have are smart about that but youtubers aren't so it's just about saving your ass really to make sure that people actually get your content um, I found a really good product, but I'm just saving right now. Yeah, I understand that, Julian. That's for sure. Like, a thing. <laughs> yeah, I would just make sure that when you, if you do start to run paid traffic, uh, make sure it's a good funnel, good product. You have a good system set up through all, you know, just watch more of my content. You kind of understand what I talk about. Um, yeah. All that kind of stuff. Like the one that I talked about, pre please review amazing-deals.co, amazing-deals.co. Okay, I'm going to load that one up. I feel like now is not really the best time to do a live stream. I know like 7 p.m. is like the best time to do live streams. And I also didn't like update anyone on the Facebook group that I was going to do this. So, but it's all right. We still got some peoples in here. All right. Amazingdeals.co. I mean, it's a good site. Let me, let me actually pull it up on screen so you guys can see it. Um, I mean, it's a good site. I, I, I mean, is this your site or what questions do you have about it? I mean, it looks, okay. I'm not really a huge fan of that one but uh i mean it's it's definitely like the trending type hot products it seems like that's what they sell i mean the site is clean uh does it convert that's the question it looks pretty it looks like very legitimate um i guess what we can do is then just come here copy that put into similar web um minimalistic future cam burke what's up cam oh it's yes it's my new store oh okay okay that makes sense well it looks very clean okay my ms okay that's your store all right but i am showing the process if you guys are researching other stores i would go to similar web and my ip.ms um, if you guys want to check out my new blog post, um, I actually do go over like the process for e-commerce. Um, I think it was under, <laughs> um, I think it was under this. Yeah, this is my new blog post. Like if you guys haven't gone to my website, which is just brennanbaleski.com and then this is the free, you know, free product list, the free course. 100k products you guys can download that um but yeah it's uh i think it was down here where was it no it must have been on this one yeah it was on this one okay so this blog post uh it was down here at the bottom yeah so about how to kind of find the gold right so similarweb.com and myip.ms these are the two sites that you use to study other people's stores and businesses that's kind of the gold there, right? Is these two things, right? If a site, you know, has over 200 per day, you know, let's just paste in, um, you know, amazingdeals.co. That's kind of where you know. Okay, so yeah, so you can get a basis of how new the business is. Now let's actually do something fun because I think some of you guys might find this hilarious. Yeah, okay, not my Shopify.com. Okay, so let's uh let's see uh let's let's see this out of curiosity i think it was that no it's not okay well anyway let's go to this man's old site <laughs> you ever tried to outsource your facebook ads yeah <laughs> hilarious um Can you review minimalisticfuture.com? Yeah, I'll go ahead and add that one in here next. 
Um, holistic future.com. Um, minimalisticfuture.com. Uh, there's like a bug flying around. Um, minimalistic future. I mean, I like this site. Oh, wow. That looks very, very similar to amazing deals. Are you guys using like the same theme, I guess. That's funny. Yeah. You guys are definitely using like the same theme. I wonder what theme that is actually. It's it's makes things look very like clean. Um I would just say to stick to a niche and this kind of this kind of bar here is way too big to say the least. Shoptimized. Shoptimized. Okay, that must they must be running like a lot of promotions then for their theme. I mean, it's not bad. Um let me just go ahead and write that one down. Okay. Yeah, it's the same theme. I was going to say they look very similar. Um, I mean, yeah, fix that big bar there on the drag down. Like, make it more like this. I would say this is smaller of a bar when you scroll down. Yeah. Um, okay, so Julian, have you ever tried to outsource your Facebook ads? Um, no, I have not. When, when I get into outsourcing, I will probably be doing outsourcing for like more, less, less technical work because outsourcing for Facebook ads, especially with that kind of stuff, like it's going to be expensive work. Like I will outsource for more cheaper things that take a lot of time. Facebook ads to me are worth working with and actually worth knowing your numbers unless of course you have like a ton of money just to blow at someone who already knows Facebook ads really well and can run them for you that's very expensive and if if you don't already have a funnel that's good or, or some sort of sales system like you're just gonna be shooting yourself in the foot um yeah yes it's my new store um cam okay uh, RK, hey Brennan, if I could offer a suggestion, get a shorter domain like Brennan V or Brennan Dropship because your last name could be tough for some people to spell. Yeah, I understand that, um, but I wanted just my full actual name because it's more professional looking in my opinion. So like, and the thing is, is though I'm going to be linked, it's linked literally everywhere. And once you type it in one time, like once you type in uh, BrennanValeski.com once, like it'll be saved on your Chrome Chrome browser, and I'll have it like like linked everywhere, um, so you guys can get easy access to it. Like, so I understand. I mean, a lot of people that get to it are going to be clicking through a link or maybe searching on Google. You know, some people that may just type it in to get it, it should still come up. I mean, it's a brand new site, so it might not really show up in Google, but that's why I try to link it everywhere. Um. So that it, um, so that people can actually get access to the content and the blog posts and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, like I said, once you type it in once, it's pretty much saved in your in your browser, so it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, I get what you mean, but yeah, you know, if only I had a short and juicy name like Ty Lopez that's super easy to spell. You know, honestly, I'm thankful though that at least my domain was available. Like just my straight name, Brennan Valesky was at least available. A lot of people, their name isn't even available. Like if you're John Smith, you are screwed. So thank God, like I, I at least was able to get it, but um, yeah, or, or I didn't have to do any like random stuff with my name. So like, thankfully I was able to do it just straight up. But yeah, I mean, it would be nice if my name was shorter, but whatever. It's actually funny because Valeski is even a shorter version of my original Polish last name, which is literally like impossible to spell. Like my family does not even like I don't even know it, but I, I have heard it once. My dad was telling me it's like it, it started with a W and it was like literally like 20 characters long, like impossible to make a domain name. So at least Valeski, V-A-L-E-S-K-I is shorter 
Um, thankfully, but regardless, back back to you guys' questions. Um, I appreciate the concern, but yeah, um, I get I get what you mean. Um, Shoptimized, uh, same theme. How did you make the bar smaller? Yeah, startup is the theme I'll be using. It would be a one product store. Cool, Julian. Um, one product stores actually. Speaking of that, if you go to my blog post, the three best. If you go to my site on this one, I made I made like a thing going over Ring to Perfection. It kind of follows this video. If you guys have seen this video before, but the night sky right here, right? The the night sky literally is a one product store, and I was actually gonna order one of these potentially. Uh, it's their custom star maps. This is a Shopify store. Um, I'm pretty sure this is the, the uh, what theme? This is debut theme. This is the debut theme, as you guys can tell. This is their like landing page that they use to make with shop. This is just a Shopify landing page that they made. But as you can see, like how they designed it is very much focused around just the one product, which is their custom star map. So this is their custom star map that they used. So if we take a look at that, then this is kind of like their thing here. And this is like a separate editor that they used for their one thing. But you can go here and click like check out. Oh, I need to provide a location. Um, well, what if I am in San Francisco? Let's just choose Orlando. Yep. Okay, check out. Nope, skip. No, you're not getting my email, you evil people. Just kidding. It's not evil it's smart okay as you can see yeah I already added the other one to my uh, to my cart but you can see how it works it's just the one main product that they're selling and then they have Google uh, Google pay uh, and, and PayPal and all that kind of stuff but let's go back um, I don't want my like actual address to pop up and all that kind of stuff um, but that's like a store that's focused around one single product as you guys can see and it's a Shopify store. So that's that's the one I talk about in this blog post. Uh, kind of going over the one product. Then we have movement watches. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much the basis of that one. But yeah. Ugh. You guys have any other questiones, globales, questions? <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of need. I'm kind of getting hungry now, though, so probably gonna cut off the stream kind of soon. I know this is kind of like a sh like a, you know, kind of not maybe the op most optimized time to do a stream, but I figured I feel like I just answering some questions in here. I'm going to check it out. Seen it yesterday, but opted out because of email. Um, Camberg, you you have to make the logo in the right dimensions. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're saying, I think, Julian, you're, you're talking about the... Um, um, you're talking about the, uh, the shoptimized thing. Yeah, like in my emails, I'm not like the stuff that I send you guys is not trying to be like spammy. Like I actually try to help you guys with what I send and like helpful content like that I think would be valuable for you guys and kind of like keeping you up to date. Oh, your site. Um, check it out I seen yesterday but opted what do you mean you opted you opted out because of I'm confused what you mean uh Julian is it because it's sent twice like yeah I'm just curious what you mean a uh, wearemob.com it's another one. Yeah, let, let me know um like what like what you what you mean Julian like because of because of what email. Um Marco, what's up? Uh how do you make thank you page after purchase item? Um are you asking about 
Um, oh, you're welcome, Ray. Thank, uh, thank you for joining in. Uh, Marco, how do you make thank you page after purchased item? Um, at least for Shopify, it's already going to be in there. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. But, oh, okay. Julian, yeah. Um, I clicked your link in description, then it said I had to give email to get to access the site. Um, yeah, the... The link in the description is to the 100K product list, which is the, so yeah, I, I should probably just link my actual regular website in the description of my videos, which I, I probably will start doing now, just the brennanbaleski.com one, but the 100K product list is like the opt-in if you want that. Um, yeah, that's why I have it there. Like that's like, that's like if you want to get the product list. If you want the product list, you have to you have to do that so I can send it to you. But if you just want to get access to the site, it's just brennanbaleski.com. Like it's it's just you just delete the 100k products aspect to check out the regular site with the blog posts and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, you just go to the normal site for that. But if you want the list, then yeah, you have to opt in with the email. I get what you mean now. Okay. Um. Yeah, to access the regular site, you don't need your email, of course. <laughs> yeah, that, that hopefully that that like makes sense. I'll probably start just linking my regular website without the op like without the email opt in for the product list like in the descriptions. But yeah, hopefully that makes sense. I just kind of do that to just make sure that people are you know getting what they what they want. Like if they want the list, they just click that link. But if you want just the regular site. Yeah, you just go to the re regular site for the blog posts and all that kind of content. Um, yeah, okay. So, Marco, in terms of your question, though, with the thank you page after uh, purchasing the item, Shopify has a default thank you page that, that pops up. If you wanted to make a custom one, um, y you could do that with the with the video I made yesterday. Uh, or yeah, about about the product pages and landing pages. You could, you could make thank you pages and then link people into that as well um yeah okay socially smith please do the store review more in depth um yeah socially smith do you mean the store review more in depth like like this like because this is this is the post where i kind of did like a more in depth store review going over like ring to perfection um and then going over night sky and movement watches yeah, thanks. Gonna check that video. Yeah, for sure, Marco. That's how you make the custom like landing pages. Like, if you want a custom landing page, like the what was it? Let me just. Mm, I don't wanna. I think it was. I don't remember the URL that it was for the. Was it charcoal? Okay, charcoal powder. Yeah, here we go. So if I go to this which is what I showed in yesterday's video, this page right here. Um, you can make a thank you page with Thrive Architect to, to after if they purchased or something like that. Like if you want, depending on what you're doing, you could make a custom one. Um, but yeah, that was all in yesterday's video. But yeah. Cool. Um, almost to the one hour mark here. Um, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, if you guys have any other questions, you can definitely uh, leave that in here. But I'm going to be heading out soon. Um, but if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. And um, like I said, you can sign up as well for the 100K product list and the three-day free training is linked in the description if you do want access to all that stuff. If you just want to go to my normal site for the blog posts, uh, like I said, just brennanbaleski.com, which is, yeah, that's just the, the regular website. So, yeah, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Thank you so much for all the questions. Julian, Marco, Socialismus, uh, what would you improve on your store? Uh, on your store, I would, on this one, the amazing deals, uh, I, I would say, Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of, of general stores. 
Um, I kind of like the more specific stuff. That's that's the biggest improvement I could I could say. Everything else is fine though. Like your your stuff looks fine. Like you're picking good products, but I, I would say maybe go more specific with some of these images. So maybe some of the descriptions. Um, like if we take a look at this, um, I would just say get more focused. A lot of people add a ton of products, but don't actually focus on like one strategy. And that's why like when I revamp my course and I start like making more content on YouTube as well, I am going to be going more in depth on focus within this niche and within like making your e-commerce stores. Cause that's what a lot of people mess up on is they go like too spread out and they never get anything going. Um, but yeah, I appreciate all you guys, Julian, Socialismus, Marco, uh, Liz, if you're still here, FN Clips, uh, Dog Parents, Ray, Ray Q, um, Cam, Burke, what's up? Uh, you know, thank you guys so much, RK, RK as well. Um, oh, just to answer this last question here, do you mentor people or are open to mentoring? Uh, Aditya, I try to pronounce names correctly, uh, Gu, uh, Gower, um, I would say uh, my mentorship is pretty much my course. If you want access to that, um, it's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify mastery. If you want access to, to like more direct help, I have my course and you also get the mentorship package along with that. Um, oh, pronounced like gore. Okay. Gore, uh, Aditya gore. Um, yeah, you can you can just send me a message on Instagram, which is just Brennan underscore Valeski. If you just search my my name that's for my channel on Instagram, you should come up with my page, and you can just DM me, um, and I can send you the link to to the, to to get access to that. Um, yeah, because I definitely like to help people out for sure. Uh, okay, and then the last question. Um is or you can sign up the link below for the free 100k product list that gives you the three-day free training as well as the uh, 100k product list and then you could just send me an email back um to to the to the email that i send the emails from uh as well that that, that that's all the ways to get in contact with me hopefully you you've gotten one of those it, it, you know email instagram or my website you know somewhere in there you should get the ability to to contact me, send me send the link, or you just check out the courses page on my website as well, um, which is here. If you go to my website under courses, then you know I, I recommend a couple different courses, and then it's Shopify Mastery, which comes with the mentorship and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, like you know, answering more more. It's it's basically just more help. It's more it's more direct video help and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys for joining in. Okay, cool. Uh, what is the last, last question? Ideal profit margin for a product 15 to $20. Yes, that is a good profit margin, 15 to $20. You want to have enough margin so that you guys can actually make profits on your store. All right. So that is it. We're closing that, that we're closing down. The, we're closing down everything. Every closing up shop, never get access to, to me again. Just kidding. Um, you know, a lot of people make things very dramatic. Uh, but yeah, guys, that that's all. Thank you guys for joining. I uh, hope you guys check out the site, have fun, enjoy the rest of your Fridays or whatever day it is if you're in another country. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace out.